Hello everyone, this is Mara and welcome back to another new Sims 4 video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new Sims videos on the channel. And today we're going to take a look at the Toddler Stuff Pack that just came out yesterday. And we're going to have a very close look at all the cast items like hair, accessories, clothing and also the buy and build mode items. So let's take a look at Creative Sim first. So we get some new hairstyles and I have to say that I really really love all of these hairstyles and the bow or the ribbon color will change depending on what hair color you choose. So I feel like that's that's nice but I wish that there would be more options for each of the hairstyles you know just pick a uh, ribbon color and all the hairstyles look so adorable I really really enjoy this and there is uh, four hairstyles for girls and two for boys but obviously you can use uh, all of them for both genders and this is one of my favorites. I really, really love this hairstyle. It's really adorable. And next is the clothing. We got some new tops and we're going to go through all the patterns here so you guys can see what kind of uh, color options we get. They are very cute. And there's a little bee costume with wings in the back adorable another top and I do really like this one the bird top and the hoodie of course and there's a little tail in in the back that's so adorable I I just love the hoodies they're so cute and then we have a little cape costume here a little t-shirt with a cape that's pretty adorable for the little boys and for girls girls too why not <laughs> and another little tee with some cars and some solid colors too i really enjoy that they they did add some uh some patterns and some solids too and this is one of my favorite costumes or favorite outfits I love the little vest there and it has some really cute recolors like this one <laughs> and a little dress a little summer dress here there's some ribbons in the back another little dress here we go some more recolors some solids And I love this one too. I really love the um, the clothing and the hair in this pack. That's so cute. And this is definitely one of my favorites as well. That's so adorable. And this one too. So cute. And this one, I just love it. I love this clothing. <laughs> they are so cute. Okay, moving on. Another dress with some button, buttons in the back. And little overalls with some patterns. I really enjoy these ones too. Those look so much fun. Here we go. And this is really adorable as well. So I do like that there is a longer and shorter version of the overalls and a really adorable little dress. And next are the pants. The pants section or bottoms section. There's some little skirts here. I love these pants as well. And there's some little buttons in the in the bottom. 
I love them. Another little skirt. Some longer pants. And here as well, I really like that they added some patterns and some solid colors too. And some shorts. Some plaid patterns and solids. And the last one. Those are really cute as well. And lastly, these are the new shoes that we got. Three pairs of shoes. Some pretty fun colors for those. Some lady box shoes. I love those. And then these ones. They look like animal claws. So they are like animal slippers, I think. And these are really cute little shoes as well. And next, let's check out the buy and build mode objects. So first of all, we have a chair that looks like pillows, another chair, and a picnic table. And I actually really enjoy this picnic table. It has a lot of recolors, and it looks pretty nice too. Then we have some picnic clutter, a grill, and a wagon cooler. A dollhouse that looks like mushroom, a new toy box, and a slide. And there's this massive toddler jungle gym. Then we have some more decorative items like some balloons stuck in a pillow, a huge rug, some hanging lights, this monstrosity thing here, some more rugs, and it doesn't have a really good selection of recolors, sadly. Then there's a matching fence and gate set. These stumps, and I have no idea why they decided to add four of these in this pack. No idea. Like, what? And then there is this thing here. I have no words. So this ball pit looks pretty bad. It looks like a tacky waterbed gone wrong, if you ask me. And I'm definitely not going to use it ever, 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 ever. Um, unless someone retextures this to look so much better than this original one. Some of the objects, like the slide, are something that I'm definitely going to use in my game too. And they are pretty well made and the animations work very nicely as well. And toddlers can use this all by themselves as well. She looks so proud of herself. And the jungle gym. So this is something that, that is kind of confusing to me. If you click it while controlling a toddler, there's only going to be two options, at least what comes to uh, when I was playtesting this. There's going to be an option to climb through and watch this. So there is not going to be an option to play make-believe. And the way that I, uh, I saw it happen some, somehow is that uh, I had to direct the toddlers to play with the dollhouse instead. And randomly they went and started playing, playing uh, with the jungle gym here and pushing the buttons and all that. On the trailer here, you guys can see that the toddlers can play make-believe with the jungle gym. I believe they will have to have at least two points in the imagination skill, but I wasn't able to see it during my playtesting. I guess my toddlers were not uh, crafty enough or something. So is the Sims 4 toddler stuff worth buying? The asking price is the usual 10 bucks around, about 9.90 euros 9.99 dollars i guess and if you ask me it kind of depends what you're looking for if you're looking for some new cast items some new clothing shoes hair for the toddlers um i feel like the cast items are pretty good actually in this pack i'm really enjoying this i was 
really happy to see all the clothing options, to see the color options for them. I had no complaints when it comes to the cast items and the hairstyles look adorable. So I'm really happy with those. But what comes to the actual objects in the game? I'd say that it's very average. Some of the items like the slide are really, really adorable and I can totally see myself using those in my game later on as well. But some other things like those random stumps, like why did they add four of those in the same pack? It's like, what? Why? And I, I feel like maybe they ran out of, out of ideas what objects to add to the pack. It's so confusing and they look pretty ugly. There's quite a few color options to choose from what comes to the stumps. But personally, I, I just can't see myself using them in my game ever. And what comes to the ball pits? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. I do know that I'm never going to be using it in my game. It looks so bad. It looks so tacky. It's so pixelated. And definitely, as I did mention before, I'm not going to be using it ever in my game unless someone, some sweet soul in the community, makes a retexture of it so that we can actually use it for something. So that I, our eyes are not bleeding when we are watching it, basically. So yeah, some of the items are really weak in this pack, like the ball pits, like the random clutter items that you can't even interact with, and those are the stumps. Um, I do wish that they would have added some more picnic clutter to this pack, besides just that one object. I mean, it was nice, but I do wish that they would have added something else. And I don't know, just some more things, even some, maybe just some more toys, something else, not just one more toy box that is basically retextured and another a dollhouse that looks a little bit different, but it basically basically has the same interactions. There is also a new party option uh, that came with the pack, and that is the toddler playdate. But I didn't try it out because based of the other reviews that I've seen, uh, it's basically the same as any other party in the game. Um, you will need to know the neighborhood toddlers, though, to be able to invite them. And I feel like that's a little bit wonky. Uh, I feel like it should be that you will need to know the parent of the child to be able to invite them over. Because it just makes a lot more sense. I mean, think about it in real life and all that. <laughs> so it does feel silly that you will have to know or have met the toddler in the neighborhood the neighborhood kids to be able to invite them over. I feel like they should have changed it so that you will need to know the parent or have met the parent before. Anyways, the interactions seem to be pretty much the same as with any of the party stuff in the game. Uh, you will have to offer food, you will have to entertain them. Obviously with toddlers you will need to make sure that they have a clean diapers and all that. <laughs> so it doesn't really look like it's going to add anything too special to the game. Obviously, it's going to be super ador adorable to have a neighborhood toddlers and your uh, your tots play together. And I do know th uh, that I'm going to be using it in my game, definitely. And I do want to see that scenario in my, in my games. But what comes to this review, I decided to not include it in the video other than just comment on it. This is my overview review of the Sims 4 Toddler Stuff Pack. If you guys enjoy it, leave a like and comment below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Sims videos. And I will see you next time on the channel.